From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jameson Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your top stories at this hour. Sarasota County deputies say a sheriff's office employee has resigned after being arrested. According to an affidavit, Eric Farnsworth is accused of sexual battery on a child. Deputies say they were notified on Tuesday about possible criminal charges against him, and he was immediately put on administrative leave. The sheriff's office says as it began an investigation today, Farnsworth submitted his resignation. A former Lakeland City Commissioner and her husband were stabbed to death last night. Police arrested Marcel Walden for the murders of Edie Yates and her husband David Henderson. The couple was well known in the community. Edie served on the City Commission for 12 years. Police think Walden went through an unlocked door. Governor Ron DeSantis is proposing controversial legislation that would expand Florida's Stand Your Ground law. Among the changes, an addition of justifications for people using force against one another over criminal acts during protests like looting. It would also make blocking traffic during a protest a third degree felony. In other news, Feeding Tampa Bay is holding two mega pantries on Friday for those recovering from Tropical Storm Ada. We have the addresses and other information posted online at abcactionnews.com links. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. How you doing everybody? Well, what's left of Ada pushes through with a couple of showers overnight. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy and some pleasant weather rolls in over the next few days. Partly sunny skies, afternoon highs still on the warm side in the low to middle 80s. I think rain chances will be very slim this weekend, maybe 10% on the east side of the state or down south. Otherwise, partly cloudy, pleasant overnight. A cold front rolls in early next week, and that's going to give us some cooler, drier air for most of next week.